Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Bill and I am in Menominee Falls at the Hot House Tavern. I've been wanting to check this place out for a while now, so I'm real excited to be here. Hopefully you're excited too. Let's go inside and check this place out. Hey guys, so I'm inside, sat down, not too busy here. I'm actually here probably on an off time. Um, so I wanted to check out the menu. I did check this out at home, so I had an idea of what I wanted. Um, grab me a couple appetizers, grab me a beer. Uh, yeah, it's a good way to start it off. Yeah, water would be great. Um, so the beer I got is from Eagle Park, a local brewery here. It's set list, can't wait to try that out. Um, Thank you so much. Uh, for appetizers, I grabbed a Hot House Nuggets because uh, I wanted to try the chicken. The chicken is supposed to be really phenomenal here. So I got the Hot House Nuggets and then of course, Wisconsin Cheese Hurts had to give that a go. So uh, thank you so much. So my beer is here. Again, there is this nice hazy IPA. You know, I wanted to go with an IPA because the Nuggets Hopefully they're spicy, and that's kind of what we're looking for in our food here. So um, today is Tuesday. They do have specials. Um, they actually don't have fried chicken every single day. So they're actually pretty known for their chicken. They do have the Hot House Nuggets. They have um, a chicken sandwich, but their fried chicken is only available on Tuesdays. I am not going to get that for me. I am getting that to go for my wife. But um, I wanted to try the, the chicken, so I did get those nuggets. And again, the cheese curds. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna have for a meal. I don't think I can eat everything in one sitting, but this is my dinner, so maybe I will. All right, um, I'll come back once the food's here. All right, so my food came out. Uh, just a reminder, I got the Hot House Nuggets. Looks amazing. And then I also got the cheese curds. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the cheese curds. These are really nice sized cheese curds. They're fresh, so I wanted to do the pull test while they're fresh, uh, they're hot. So let's see if I can get this to work right. Holy buckets, oh yeah. Now that is a good pull test. Let's go ahead and just try these. Hot and fresh. Hmm. Yep. Really good, pretty standard cheese curds. We're lucky, we have some of the best here in Wisconsin. Um, very, very tasty, so. Uh, and there's a lot here, I don't think I'll be able to eat them all. Now, it does come with the ranch sauce, but I got something called the comeback sauce. Sounds like it's a spicy mayo, so thought we'd give that a try. Mmm. It is a spicy mayo. Kind of tastes like there's horseradish in there. Definitely that mayo creaminess, which is awesome. So, and then we're gonna try the ranch. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes like homemade ranch. It's not like any ranch I've ever tasted before. Very interesting. I kind of dig it. All right, next we're gonna try the Hot House Nuggets, but I'm gonna adjust this camera because I feel like, is there a glare back there? I think there is, I'm gonna adjust the camera. Okay, so hopefully the, the glare isn't too bad now, um, but we're gonna switch it over. 
Here are the hot hot nuggets. Now I'm gonna have to use a fork for this. So let me go ahead and grab that. I'm not a not an animal. Well, sometimes I am. So. All right. Now this is a hundred percent chicken breast. Okay. Um, looks like it's battered and seasoned just like any of their uh, spicy chicken sandwiches. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a try. A little dip in the in the ranch here. Okay. So, admittedly, it tastes a little dry. Um, they're little nuggets. They're probably cooked a couple times, but the seasoning on this, yeah, and it's got some heat. It's not like on a bill scale. Right now, I'm putting it at a three or a four. But if you don't like heat, this is probably like an eight or a nine. So there's also a little sweetness to this, meant to kind of cut some of that heat. I know their food here is really approachable, so they didn't want to like blow it out of the water. But it does have a good amount of heat to it. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you like spicy, yeah, this isn't gonna knock your socks off, but it's definitely very good. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm really enjoying this. I'm actually be real interested to see what the sandwich would taste like. I didn't get the sandwich this time. The next time I come back, and I will come back, I think I'm gonna grab the sandwich, so. All right, I did order a burger. Um, it's one of the specials that they have. It's called uh, the Big Easy Burger. It's got um, Bunzel's Beef Patty, a blackened Bunzel's Beef Patty, and Dewey Sausage, Pepper Jack Cheese, crispy onions, a roumelade sauce, and I got fries on the side. So it's a lot of food, but I'm enjoying it. All right, I'll be right back when my meal gets here. All right, so my food just got out here. This burger looks amazing. Let me show you what that looks like real quick. Absolutely spectacular looking. Um, you know what I think we need to do? Let's go ahead and pop the top on this thing so you can see the onion rings and, or the onion strings and the andouille sausage. Oh man, that looks amazing. So, look at, look at this, holy buckets. I don't know what to do with myself with this. All right, so, I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a try. Holy buckets. Here we go. Mm. One more bite. One more bite. Mm. Mm. Pretty much got half of that whole sausage in there. Needs a beer. All right, so let's talk about this burger. Number one, tastes amazing. Um, I got the the beef medium, medium well. Um, looks pretty good to me from that perspective. Um, the sauce on here is great. The sausage was amazing. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a bite here. Mm. Mm. Like I expected, the burger is actually really t tasty, well seasoned, good quality meat. Um, everything else on top of it is just, as they say, icing on the cake. Mm. The room a lot on here is very, very tasty. Um, now the the burger is supposed to be blackened. 
Um, okay. So the burger is supposed to be blackened, and it wasn't. Um, at least that's what I saw on the menu. I might actually have to look at the menu again. But it should have been a blackened patty. Um, otherwise, it's pretty solid. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, mm. Mm. so it did come with fries. The fries are pretty basic. They're, um, but they're crunchy. Well, that one wasn't. But they're firm. Mm. Nicely seasoned. But you know what? There's no wow factor here, which is fine. Not all fries have to have a wow factor. I think the burger speaks for itself. But if I dip this in a little of that comeback sauce, it's pretty solid. Cool. All right, so, so far my experience has been awesome here. I really enjoyed the food. The service has been good. Um, when I get the tab, we'll kind of run through that, talk about how much everything costs. Again, this is my first time here, so I probably ordered more than I would have normally or should have. But that's all right. I do it for you guys um, so you can get a, a good understanding of what they have available here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my food, and I'll be back uh, when the bill gets here. All right, guys. All right, so I think this is just a testament to the service here. So I'm about halfway, maybe two-thirds of the way through with my burger, and I was just looking at it, and I noticed that the patty wasn't blackened and it was supposed to be so i just made mention of it not expecting anything just as a heads up right so next time they make it hopefully you know they they have that blackened seasoning for other customers i actually really enjoyed the burger the way it was so i wasn't displeased at all by any of that well they insisted that they had to make me another burger and i i, I just i can re i really appreciate that um you know i i didn't ask for it they insisted it's just, again, a testament to the customer service here. Um, it wasn't right, and they wanted to make it right. So they brought me out not only a whole new burger, but new fries and everything. Definitely more than I can eat. But uh, so I, I got the, the blackened patty this time. And, and it really does round out the burger. I mean... That black and Cajun seasoning, um, you know, like I, I didn't miss it had I not known it was there. Now that I've had it with it, um, I would say that it's definitely a, a great part of this burger. It definitely completes it and rounds it out, making this, you know, just one step higher than good. Um, it's really a great burger, so um, I really appreciate that they did that. Again, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't asking for it. They just did it on their own and. Again, testament to the service here. So um, I think I'm going to pack everything up. I got to get my wife's dinner. Um, this is enough food for two days, but all right. Well, we'll see you guys in a second. All right, so let's talk a little bit about pricing here. Uh, so the cheese curds were $11. The beer was 8 The hot house nuggets were 9 um, I got charged for the comeback sauce, um, $0.25. Cents. I'm not going to balk at that. Uh, the big easy burger was 15 and then my wife's meal, which is a two-piece dark uh, fried chicken, uh, came out to $12. So overall, 55 bucks before tax. Um, they did cut my beer, which was very nice of them for the mistake with the burger, um, just against Stellar. So um, so with uh, the beer taken off, came out to 47.25 tax. Um, total is about 50 bucks. So um, I ate a ton, I ordered a ton. Actually, there's enough in here for three people. Uh, so $50, I feel, is pretty reasonable. Um, if you tack on the beer, 60 bucks, um, and then plus tips. So um, overall, not bad. I mean, it's pretty standard for today's day and age. So, um, you know, they're not low price, but they're not high price, right? And I think the quality was pretty good. The service was outstanding. And so um, I would gladly pay this any day of the week. And so, pretty happy with everything. My experience here was pretty good. Um, I did read some Yelp reviews, and as you can probably imagine, some people weren't happy, some people were happy. Um, I was happy with my experience. My server 
was great. Um, the manager here was awesome. Again, just making everything right. And, and really, I think everything was quick and prompt. Um, there's a lot of regulars here, and, and they know um, the regulars. And, you know, there's a big party here. So, I mean, like, it really is a, a place to be in. I'm glad that they're here in Menominee Falls. I'm glad they established themselves here and really kind of acting as part of the community. So, you know, overall, I give this place a thumbs up. I would definitely come back here. I would suggest if you're in the area and you would like to kind of just try a nice, fun atmosphere, get something um, spicy with the chicken or maybe even something different, definitely um, stop on in, give it a try. They got lots of beer here. They got whiskey. Um, they have Blanton's. If you all like Blanton's, they got Blanton's here. So, um, yeah, overall, I'll definitely stop back here. So thanks again, guys, for stopping in and watching the video. I really appreciate you guys being here. Um, if you haven't already, you can hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I guess it doesn't really matter. But uh, I'm just glad you're here. So um, if there's any other place that you'd like me to try out, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on the video. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace out. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive.